so my friends you know they are very supportive they know never ask me out this son never ask me out on a Saturday and Sunday um, and and you know for a while I suppose my social life is on hold but is it on hold I'm quite anti-social to be quite honest morning good morning everybody um, I, I don't know what day of the week it is but um, it was pouring with rain yesterday it's gloriously sunny today and I am heading into Soho and I'm walking there in my Stella McCartney boots even though they are uh, quite a sort of morning very well, thank you. I love vlogging in London. People just smile. When you vlog outside of London, people are very, very, very suspicious. Anyway, um, hi. See what I mean? Um, anyway, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'm in my Stella McCartney's, which are very, very high. They are so comfy glasses off they're so comfy I can actually walk into Soho uh, in my boots now I'm pausing here because I don't know if I told you this this is just opened here in Marigold it's called Bailey and Sage it is the most amazing delicatessen um, with beautiful flowers but let me just show you their pastries Jan, are Jan. you from Jan? Yes, Jan. Are you, are you from Marrowbone? No, we live at Streatham Hill. Oh, right. Yeah. So are you in? Are you here to shop? Or? We're here to shop. Yeah. And I love Marrowbone. I know Marrowbone, but this <laughs> this place is my downfall. Oh. Because it's like arriving in heaven. It's basically. lovely. I just thought, oh, this is her. Then I spat with Joe. Gosh, it's Joe. Uh, well, I come in and just buy one cake, <laughs> oh, really? and then I eat it on the way back. Oh, it's oh, so nice to meet you. You too. You too. I absolutely <laughs> love watching your Sundays. Oh, and when oh, you did that sheer looks, yes. oh gosh, oh my gosh, fabulous. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, I don't want to show myself no, everyone. Oh, you look gorgeous. No, I don't. <laughs> but hopefully, I'll do more on sheer looks. Oh, Lark. definitely. I love sheer looks. Yeah, but they're brilliant. I, I think just for our age group, it's brilliant Aren't you're they? doing that. Yeah. I love the way you just boldly, oh. and we've both got the same hair. Blow it. Look, we've both got very similar <laughs> hair, actually. But it's so nice to oh, meet you. I'm thrilled I've met you. I know, I'm thrilled you came up to me. Have a look at all... Is that your partner? It's my husband, Nick. Yeah. He made a, he made a hasty was, retreat. I was thinking, what's she doing? I know. Do you know, I absolutely love you. I watch it all the time. Oh, God. I, I wish I, I looked like, a bit better. You look I great. Just you just always running. look great. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, lovely to meet you. I'm thank thrilled. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> made my day. Bye. Now, can you imagine that? Being right on my doorstep and what I do is throughout the day if I'm working from home I just run in buy a Danish pastry eat it run home oh my gosh this lady I have logged before do you remember this lady hello do you remember being on my blog yeah, a long I never time saw ago. It. It's up there. Oh, it great. is up there. You are the thumbnail. Oh. Um, you. Oh gosh. Will you look at Middle Age Minx? Go to Middle Age Minx. Yeah. Okay. And have a look at what people are wearing in Marylebone. Okay. And you are the thumbnail. 
everybody do you remember this beautiful beautiful lady i will put Hello. i actually will put the thumbnail up here um and you are stunning oh, so are you. oh well i am today well i'm not that's how so when i've interviewed you i look like a bad woman to be honest. <laughs> um where are you off to i'm going to uh camden passage oh lovely islington yeah in islington lovely for, for the flea market oh can you just tell everyone what you're wearing today i'm wearing a uh, this is my mother's old trench coat. No. It used to belong to my mother, so it's from the 70s, I guess. Wow. It's a Finnish designer, not Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and this, what do I wear? Oh. The shoes are from a Swedish friend of mine who designed them. And uh, what do I have? Oh, this you're is very so stylish. And interesting. This is actually Uniqlo. Uniqlo? No, so it's not. No, it's Muji. Muji. And this, this, and this one is uh, Uniqlo. Uniqlo. Perfect, and your makeup, I love how you, you do your makeup. You. A winged eye. Yeah. And this this um, coat of your mother's, can I just tell everyone, I've been collaborating with Farfetch, and if you wait in a couple of weeks, I have actually ordered one very similar from a Korean brand. But you'll have to wait for that, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'll just give you a clue, it's called Low Classic, L-O-W Classic. And they make them like that. It's stunning. Please have a look at my YouTube channel. Because mine is falling apart. I oh, know. So check, check it out. out. Check it out. Um, uh, so lovely to meet you. So lovely to meet you. Oh, bye now. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye Oh my gosh. You see, if you just get your camera out and walk around, you meet these amazing women. Um, I can't believe she didn't watch the vlog. She probably has no idea who I am, so why would she? Um, but yes, I, um, I just remember her beautiful face. Right. If I carry on like this, I'm never going to get there. I'm having a meeting with my agent. Did I tell you? Oh, by the way, this is Rixo. I am turning, well, I'm hosting the Christmas lights here in Marylebone, and I need a dress. Last year, they lent me the most beautiful dress. This year, I want to wear, I don't know if you can see it, they have a pink glittery dress. Let me show you. Can you see that? Right there. Can you see it? Anyway, listen, I am going to be really late. I love this walk. Love, love, love this walk. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm meeting my agent. <laughs> I don't think I told you. Um, with a brand. Um, we're meeting a brand. It's always nice to meet brands before you work with them so that you can suss out what they want. Mind you, I have worked with this brand so often and... Um, I know what they want and they know what I can deliver so it's a lovely 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 collaboration but I think we're just sort of catching up because obviously Christmas and the manic nature Black Friday and all of that so yes anyway Joe stop putting on I'm going to get to Soho in 10 minutes Look where I am, don't forget. If you want to send me the walking ladies of Carnaby Street, this is where she is. And it's in Broadwick Street. God, I've got my cardigan on, I didn't want to show that. wondered where the primary school of Soho was. It's there. Imagine going to school, primary school in the middle of Soho, where you are literally at the back of all the very famous stage doors. So this is, I think, uh, is this the Broadmill Theatre? No, the Apollo Theatre stage door. Oh, 
very, very, very famous stage door. And how many times as an actress did I go in and out of here? This is why the best time to walk in Soho is early morning. Truly, because it's almost deserted. Soho doesn't really wake up until lunchtime. So childish, isn't it? Filming in toilets. <laughs> I think it's because um, we're not really meant to be filming in this club. It's a very exclusive members only club and um, it's where I'm meeting my agent and a brand. But I love this wallpaper. Can you, can you actually see that? Probably not. Anyway, because it's so crisp, my asthma you can probably hear it, but I'm just, I'm controlling my breathing. It's much, much better, much better than when it was in the summer. Anyway, yes, going to meet Nigel. He hates being on camera. All I've ever filmed of Nigel is his feet. Oh my goodness. So I've just learned a thing or two. I have collaborated with this beautiful brand from I think possibly my se second ever vlog. Somewhere within the first five vlogs I collaborated with Lily Silk and I have seen them uh, grow as I've grown. I haven't grown a great deal but I've, I've, I've watched them grow and I've watched their uh, sustainability, which I'm going to talk about in a moment, because what the hell is sustainability? Everyone just puts sustainability on everything. What is it? So that's what I've been reading about. What it is they do that is truly sustainable. Myrtle, right, this is my dirty old slipper. You are going in the other room, because the moment I get the camera out, she wants to be part of it. I know she's more popular than me. Right, you're going in the other room. There you go. Up. Good girl. Lord, go on then, Mert. At the moment, she hasn't learnt how to push the door open. Anyway, so uh, yes, I have always um, been loyal to, well, they've always been loyal to me. And the thing is, they're a silk brand, if you don't know what I, obviously it's, it's in the name. But I cannot, I cannot understand why uh, so-called influencers work with brands and never ever wear the brand. So I wear everything I promote. That's why I promote it. That has that you have to have a barometer of trust somewhere. And uh, look at me. I mean, most times you see me, I'm in a pair of silk pajamas. They're from Lily Silk. Do you remember the sundress that I wore in Mallorca that had so many comments and so many of you asked where I got it? picture here that was from lily silk do you remember the silk lovely silk mix navy polo shirt that i wore with my red lipstick picture here that was from lily silk so i've always worn lily silk my silk pillowcases are from lily silk um and they've reached out to collaborate with me for uh more Cozy wear, mind you, these silk pajamas you can wear any season. But anyway, cozy wear, so cashmere, and I can't wait. I have never tried their cashmere, I've never worn their cashmere, so I'm looking forward to this. But what I was reading was about why they and they they will they send you all of this information about why they are sustainable, and you'll probably switch off if I go into it. But a lot of you, it really does matter. And this is mulberry silk. And um, the, the, they say not all silk is equal and they want to become globally the best silk, you know, to stand for the best things in the world. They want their silk to be the most appreciated because of its sustainability, zero waste. And I did not know that mulberry trees needed less water. I did not know that silk um, is degradable after, I think it's one to five years, it will it will, what is it called, degrade 
in the soil and they they run a plan whereby you can send back your lily silk items um, when they you no longer want them or they've worn out not that I think they ever would wear out and they give you points and I'll explain all that at the end but this is the exciting bit so look at it now this has changed as well they've always had beautifully packaged uh, items this is all uh, recyclable everything they have is recyclable but if you are sending anything as a gift it is so beautifully packaged I can't remember what I ordered I mean they they said come on Joe do you want to work with us and um, have a look at our cashmere collection I truly cannot remember what I ordered because I ordered it right in the middle of the summer so we're going to discover this together and I will do try-ons in between so first up again packaging I'm not going to dwell on it you know the packaging is beautiful um, oh, oh, oh this is what I think they call oyster colored silk dress oh look at this look look at this this is I didn't this is a button-down how much do I love a shirt dress a button-down silk dress, oyster coloured, with the sash. Oh my gosh, that is stunning. Stunning. Is that my... Yes. And I love this because, um, I love this colour because it throws the light up onto your face. So, and look how clever. You, they send you these wonderful little messages and this is how to fold a silk shirt and a silk shirt dress, which, you know, I tend to have attention deficiency, so um, I'm very bad at detail, so that is well worth it. So, I am, go oh, do you know what I love? Look at this. Now that, it's a, <laughs> I'm getting so excited, but that's a pleat at the back, and that means an awful lot to the movement and to the cut of a garment, especially a long skirt, having a lovely pleat at the back. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to steam this and then I'm going to try it on up on the roof because it's such a sunny day. I'll leave the code on the screen and below. Oh, I can't wait to put this on. What does it say? Um, we want you, we want to inspire people to live a better life and a uh, more sustainable lifestyle. Our care for one another and the planet is what drives us. Yes, that and your beautiful clothes.
sunny up there so I can trial this off you. Right, third item. Will this be a cashmere? Who knows? I don't mind if it isn't because I love the silk, but I did want to try the cashmere. So let's have a look. Ah, oh, yes. I think this is a cashmere. Oh my gosh, it is, and I remember this. Wow. Wow. Look, everybody. How much? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is a cashmere hoodie. You know the lovely muted colours I wear in loungewear. You know, this is so soft and beautiful. And oh, what I love is it's like it's box shaped so it'll hang. It's not mean on the sides. It's got a lovely, loose, ribbed waistband with a seam running down the centre, which means it will hang beautifully with a soft hood. How beautiful is that? How well is that going to go with my, well, with my American vintage tracky bottoms, with my, I mean, if I'm wearing shorts in the summer, this on a late summer's evening, but in the winter, under padded jacket, going out, walks in the park, oh my gosh, I wish I'd got two of these. <laughs> I might actually order another in this color because I will wear this to death, okay. look at this this is a jumpsuit look at the elasticated back and the look this is the color I love because it brings the green out it has a button at the bottom so you can either have them long or what I would do is turn them up have my ankle showing I have no idea I'd ordered this back pockets in the most beautiful beautiful uh, green it's like a jade green. Okay, gonna try that on. same oyster as the long dress. Beautiful, beautiful mulberry silk and look how it lights the face and look how beautiful that will be. Um, I can wear this with my merino wool bright yellow cardigan and I can wear this with my black skirt, my black trousers or my jeans. I just love it. Absolutely love it. Don't forget the code, the discount code. Now, I wanted to 
read this to you. Don't turn this bit off. Please don't turn this off because this is so important. You know I said, where did I put it? You know I said that um, you can recycle your lily silk, that's bedding and clothing, uh, when you feel like it, you've worn it enough, it's worn out. Not that silk really wears out, but anyway, this is what they do, which is, um, I'm going to be very quick, I'm going to uh, abbreviate this, but um, they have um, linked up with TerraCycle, and Terry, uh, te or TerraCycle is TerraCycle, and TerraCycle is a social enterprise that eliminates the idea of waste. So, you as a customer to Lily Silk can be part of this program because you can send all your unwanted Lily Silk textiles, including be uh, bedding as well as clothes and sleepwear. They have to be made from silk and cashmere um, to TerraCycle. And as a reward for every pound of Lily Silk textiles recycled, you will receive 100 TerraCycle points and 100 Lily Silk points that you can then use to purchase on Lily Silk. Now, this will come, all the details is on their website, but it will come also uh, with your own products. But how brilliant is that? So, you know, rather than just chucking it, destroying it, you can send it off to be recycled and you benefit as well as them. I love it, I love it. So yes, click on the link and uh, use the discount whilst it's there. That's how you shop at Lily Silk. Use the discount. You all right? Are you all right? You're very heavy, Myrtle. Oh, dear. So, settle down then. Hello, everyone. I'd actually got up. It is early in the morning. But Myrtle... Myrtle, do you mind me telling everyone this? Do you mind? It's very personal. It's you can see that she's wearing. She's wearing. I'm not going to show them, but she is wearing. She knows I'm talking about her. She's wearing pants because Myrtle's come into season. I know some people may say we don't care, Joe. That's between you and Myrtle. It's Myrtle's own private business. And it is. But I've never had Matilda. I had spayed very early on. So um, I've never been through this before. And there's nothing. I mean, it's fine. There's nothing, nothing, you know. She's fine. But she is incredibly clingy. She will not leave me alone. Here she is, back. Do you want to come here then? Do you want to come and rest your big old head? So I was up and I'd gone out, I'd got some milk and she's been following me around so I thought we'd have just a little bit of extra time. On the bed, because she likes snuggling up and being close. Oh, Mert. Dear Mert. Do you know, I was told by one of my, one of you actually, that if you don't spay a dog, they have no menopause. They have, they come into season right into old age. So different to us. Anyway, I will spay her after I think someone said you have to wait three months after their first season. Mm -hmm. But I'm doing all this because this is the latest. This is what vets now advise, mm -hmm. to let them have a season and then spay. Oh, she's... You all right? There we go. There we go, Mert. There we go. Put you there so everyone can see what a beautiful girl you are. There. Just see your lovely face. There. Then we have to get up, Mert, because the day has a lot in store. I know you don't like wearing the, um, oh dear, the pants. 
but it won't be for long and they suit you. There, have a little rest and then we must get up. seldom film this bit of my life. I'm in Sussex, heading down to my mum and uh, we're just going past Box Hill. I should close the windows so you can hear me a bit better. And uh, Myrtle is strapped in by my side. Very quiet. Um, I think she's quite confused by being in season. Sorry, the sun, you're gonna, the sun is going to come in and out. Um, but I thought as I was driving, I, it, I would just have a chat to you because I love the comments you leave. You leave really interesting comments under my vlog and very poignant and, um, and you answer each other. I love that and I learn loads from all of you, loads. You know, often I'll promote a brand and you'll say, yes, but have you tried this? And Or else, yes, Joe, I, I got that and it fitted perfectly. And, you know, whatever. But I love feedback, but I also just love your thoughts on my life and how it compares to your life. And there was a comment last week from, and I, forgive me, because I can't remember your name. Oh, is this a Rolls Royce? No, Bentley. Um, a Jaguar, actually, that was a Jaguar, wasn't it? Um, again, I apologise for the sun going in and out. But there was, oh my gosh, you know the weird thing is, I'm back in my own car and I keep forgetting to change gear. I've been driving in third gear throughout the whole of that. Awful. Huh? I, I got to love the automatic car, and many of you said I would. You said if you're driving in London, oh my gosh, you don't stop start. It's an absolute gift for driving in London. Anyway, as I say, forgive the sun coming in and out. I should have chosen a better day to do this, but it's so beautiful. One of the comments you left, um, one of you left last week, was, Joe, you, I really admire you going to your mum's every weekend. And um, this person said, I lost my mum a couple of years back and um, I also used to go every weekend to see her. And um, I have actually, so I, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about that because my mother, Mutti, as you all know, um, who's nearly 98 now, she'll be 98 um, in March, um, she had a stroke, <coughs> excuse me, um, 12 years ago, 12 years ago, and she was a very fit woman until the stroke. And um, everything then shifted in my life, and certainly in hers, but in my life. And having avoided children and all responsibilities, I realized I must keep an eye on my mum and, um, you know, but initially after her stroke she because she's so so active she did extremely well and kept going and you know got herself as mobile as she could but as i say that is 11 years ago 12 years ago and she's you know getting frail and i realize that I don't know how to put this. It's not. I, it's not a. Du I don't do it through duty. I don't do it. I. I. I don't moan about it. I love it. I do love it. I love being there at the weekend. Um. I. You know. I. I. I enjoy it. And I'm. I know the days are limited now that I can be with her. But it is odd, her and my relationship, because we've always got on, but we would never 
constantly talking to each other, phoning each other. You know, we had a fantastic relationship, but I could go weeks without seeing her, even though, you know, I lived in London, she lives, what is it, two hours away by car, no big deal. But she always, my mother, always said, get out there, you know, go and live your life, stop, keep worrying about me. She still says it, actually. But, um, you know, she, when, when she was able, and when she was living on her own, um, I probably used to go and visit her maybe once a month. And even then, she'd be in the garden and I'd turn up and she'd go, you're not going to stay long, are you? I mean, she, and I loved her for that. You know, she never ever demanded that I see her, that I be with her. Um, and I was there every Christmas. She never expected it. I just wanted to be. Um, so I am very, very, very lucky to have had this time. And it is a weird thing in my life because I have an extremely sociable life and I'm invited here, there and everywhere because of the nature of my job. And obviously I don't go anywhere on a Saturday. I just say no, or a Sunday. I just say I'm always at my mum's. Um, so my friends, you know, they are very supportive. They know, never ask me out, this son, never ask me out on a Saturday and Sunday. Um, and, and, you know, for a while, I suppose, my social life is on hold. But is it on hold? I'm quite anti-social, to be quite honest. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I thought I'd just tell you that. Um, and I don't film with my mum that often. She misses, she misses Matilda hugely. She absolutely loves Myrtle. And um, Myrtle, thank heavens I got Myrtle because uh, there was a real void in our life without um, Matilda. But my mum misses her hugely. And, um, and I don't really film a lot with her, but my mother loves the vlog. She still, when I, when I arrive today, she'll say, what's in the vlog this week? And um, she loves being on it. She loves being on it. Um, but I, I, the only time I really film her is when we're in the car. Um, otherwise, I don't get the camera out. And also I don't get the camera out because my brother is living at home now. So my brother's lived abroad all his life. And oh my gosh, how lucky am I that he's now living with my mum for however long he's living there and it helps me gosh it helps me um you know because i couldn't be swanning around london all week if he wasn't there so i'm very 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 lucky now the other thing i wanted to say to you before um oh gosh petrol um this these trees you can't see this the trees are right over the road it's a beautiful time of year to be driving through Sussex, I'm telling you, it's beautiful. The other thing I wanted to say to you is, Kimberly over 50, the interview with her, Pretty Over 50, should I say, Kimberly from Pretty Over 50, the interview is going out this Wednesday. I can only encourage you to watch it because it didn't, it wasn't what I expected. She, she was very, very generous to me. And I've always, if you follow Kimberly, you'll know that she is incredibly warm and calm and she'll throw out little nuggets of her life on her channel, but nowhere near as much as what I give. And she shared with me in this interview the most personal detail that a, that a mother could share and I am going to leave it there you need to watch it um, it's on Wednesday it's going to go live on Wednesday and I will remind you if you follow me on Instagram I'll, I'll, I'll remind you on there and I'll keep reminding you I urge you to, to go and watch it um, mind-blowing actually and I, I, I truly mean that um, so yes, that's, I think I'm going to turn this off now because I'm nearly at my mum's and if she is coming out in the car, we like to, on a Friday afternoon when I collect her, we always go and have an ice cream. She absolutely loves ice cream, my mother. So um, if she's up for an ice cream, then, um, what am I doing with this indicator? <laughs> 
if she's up for an ice cream, then I will pick up the camera um, and you'll see Mutti in all her glory. Okay, Mutti, we're recording no, 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 Lidl, your favourite shop. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Mutti hates Lidl. I don't. You said it was like a jumble sale. Well, it's not like the usual ones. Mutti said it was a long time ago on the vlog. Oh, I, I took you in there, didn't Yeah, it? when it first came, I don't think it was really finished. No, it was the first week. I took Mutti into Lidl in Horsham, and she said, well, it looks like a blooming jumble sale. And Little, do you remember? Little yeah, said, one of the assistants. No, no, one of the executives saw the vlog and sent us. Do you remember he sent us an email and said, we're sorry your mother wasn't very <laughs> enamoured with our little, can we offer you a crate of Satsumas? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, I must say, you look like Bette Davis in those glasses. <laughs> We haven't got Myrtle with us um, because she's, I don't, do you think it's wrong that I told everybody that she's on heat? Well, I didn't think there was any need for it. No, I hope I haven't embarrassed her. I'm getting too familiar with things. Too what? Too familiar, familiar. with things. Don't, don't, everyone's not interested in your dog. <laughs> no, no, but a lot of dog people are because I've never had a dog that's um, been in season before. And I, I wonder, I didn't know whether to put it in the vlog or not, because I didn't want to embarrass her, but she's not watching. But it is, it's, um, my brother, when he saw her in those pants. What did he say? He went, what are those? And I, I think he thought I'd chosen to just dress her in them. But anyway, but that's why she's not here between us. She's at home in the garden, which she loves, doesn't she? Oh, yeah, she loves the garden. She loves the garden. Running she up. likes being on her own, really, doesn't yeah. she? Yeah, but all bulldogs like being on their own. <coughs> anyway, Mutz. That's a great asset. They're not worrying you all the time. No, it's a bit like our whole family. We all like being on our own, <laughs> even the dog. <laughs> right, I'm going to go into Lidl. And I'll leave you here. I'm going to get your chocolate. I'm going to get my chocolate. The best chocolate ever. I get the chocolate and Mutti has a custard tart, don't you? <laughs> you like those custard tarts, don't yeah. you? Yeah, they're Portuguese. I forget what somebody told me what they're called. Anyway, I'm going to go. Don't forget, uh, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And um, don't forget, on Wednesday, Pretty Over 50, the interview with Pretty Over 50 will be on this channel. Um, and um, please watch it because I think you will you'll be, you'll find it extremely interesting. So I think we have some walking women this week. I never know till Philippe puts them on. So that's it. Say goodbye, Mutz. Bye bye. Bye.